Today I'm going to show you how to set up dynamic lighting with a map on Roll20. First thing you have to do is launch your game. Then go into the page toolbar, open a new page. Sometimes this can be temperamental. Scroll down and see if one's been added. No, it hasn't. Try again. Try the other one. No. And it has now. So I've opened it up. It is untitled, so I'll go back in and rename it. And I'm going to call it New Tavern. Once that's done, hit the cog. Once that's happened, we'll click on the cog. And we will look at the dimensions uh, for the original map. Now Rogue 20 only lets you upload up to 10 megabytes, so we'll have to go into details here and take a note of those pixels, which is 5600 by 35. Put that in here with, so it's 5600 by 3500. Then go to Dynamic Lighting, switch your uh, Dynamic Lighting on, then hit Save Settings. Now I've previously cut up um, the map into two parts just to make it easier here for placing but that's something you need to bear in mind if you're creating your own own maps in something like Dungeon Draft that Roll20 does restrict you to uh, 10 megabyte uploads at a time so if your map's bigger than that you'll need to cut in half like what I have here so I'm going to drag up the first part resize it to fit Once that's done, so you just go to the corners there, wait on the diagonal arrow up here and then just drag it and release. Upload the second part, and it's the same principle. The second part can sometimes be a bit tricky for aligning, so um, I'll try dragging it from the left side. And if that doesn't work, I'll move it and drag from the right to resize. No, it's not want to change. No, no, get another go. No, let's move it. You do see it changing. That's it. Now we'll resize it. Resize it a bit more. Move it a bit, a bit. And you move it about a bit. Now let go. Now that's that perfect. So we'll swap layers now into the token layer. Go into the, the journal and just drag over a character token. And make sure dynamic lighting's on here it is and also daylight mode is switched on. So it's now time to start adding in the barriers I'm just checking to make sure everything's aligned properly by zooming in and after that's done it's time to go and check and make and, and start drawing the, the areas where you would like light to be blocked. So you go into the dynamic lighting layer and then you go up to where the paintbrush is and you come down and use support, you select the polygon line tool. And then I've just got to quickly speed through this and you'll see me drawing in all the lines. We'll be back to this talk once it's done. You won't see me drawing in any of the doors here, but it's quite simple. All, all I normally do is I increase the size of the line, and that's just where underneath the wall, where it says regular, that's a drop down menu there, and you could select um, a variety of different sizes. Sizes, I think it's large and extra large, and I'll just change the color. It's, 
always easier to make uh, to select a thicker size because if you once you, you select the restrict um, barrier movement option in the page settings if a player token was to come across a door they wouldn't be able to go through it so they would then have, you'd then do your checks and then you have to remove it and if it's quite a thin line it's sometimes difficult to grab with the arrow tool so uh, if you make it that a little bit thicker you tend to not have issues uh, moving doorways uh, once you have to so that's just a tip for you That's the tavern almost complete. Once that's done, we will move on and we'll add the dynamic lighting to the barn area. I need to zoom in a little bit there. Just for your information, when you're drawing the lines here, um, you click to start and stop, left click to start and stop, and then to complete the thing, you need to right click and that closes it. If you don't right click, you'll end up making mistakes. So I'm now just going to put some more character tokens on here, and then once that's done, I will move the characters about the, the map just so you can see the effect that it has on dynamic lighting. What you're seeing from here is all from a Games Master's uh, perspective. So like the player's perspective uh, will be a bit darker than this. But you, you get to just uh, uh, how, it, how it works. So I'm now going to move my character tokens about the map as I said, just so you can see how it affects the light. Taking one right out to the barn, from the bar. And that's into the storage area. And then I'll take another one of the characters into the sleeping accommodation areas. And then down to the baths. That's pretty much how the dynamic lighting looks on Roll20. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it a little bit educational. I will later on um, in the series show you how I made this map using the software called Dungeon Draft it is uh, quite um, an expensive piece of software. It costs approximately £50 at the time I purchased it to, to buy the software. But I'm using custom assets from a company called Two Minute Tabletop and a Patreon um, only group called um, Crosshead Studios. Um, I know it's a little bit more money to spend, but um, I do think the assets is, all, is worth it. Um, and I will put the link in the description so you can check them out if you want to. Well, that's been it guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.